hello guys, it is me again, it's HorrorFan34, and welcome back to another video. <clears throat> All I can say is, guys, this video is going to be something really, really special, because my birthday just passed this past June, it was June 29th, in case you guys are wondering, I just turned 24 years old, and um, I'll tell you what, this year on my birthday, I was really, really lucky this year. Uh, my buddy, who I've, I've talked about already here on here, uh, this is a this is a buddy of mine that got me some DVDs in the past. Like he got me the Death Wish Blu-ray, got me the Kevin Smith DVD, and some Bruce Willis films and things like that. Um, so some nice gifts that I, I I get from him every so often. <clears throat> and he usually do, and he usually always does something really really special on my birthday. And last year he gave me a really really nice bunch of presents. Uh, gives him drops them off to me in a little plastic bag and says, hey, you know, enjoy these and things like that. And last year's thing, uh, goodies that he gave me was uh, really, really special. He gave me Big Trouble Little China on DVD, The Scale, uh, just many, many more things like that. So, um, and I, 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 what I did was he, uh, he, get, he gives me the bag, like he always does, full of the goodies and what I do is I don't I I try my best not to look and I had no idea what was in this bag. I kind of pulled everything out of the bag with my eyes closed and I just set them down because uh, I just I, I wanted to be surprised for this video. So <clears throat> so I have no knowledge at all what these presents are. So I closed my eyes like I said, pulling them out of the bag. And if you want to see like how big it came in, like look at this bag. Like this thing was like this is a pretty decent sized plastic bag right here. I mean, it was a lot of stuff. It was a lot of stuff in this bag that he gave me for my birthday. And I'm really, really excited to see what it is exactly. Let me kind of let me get this out let me get this out of the way here. Um but let's get on to it. Now like I said before I'm I'm going to reach behind me because I have no idea what these things are. This is, this is going to be my first viewing of these of what he got me for my birthday. So I want to thank him very, very much for getting me all these things. And uh, let's get started here on this birthday update. So let's see. I'm going to reach, uh, I'll reach this way. Not looking. I want to be surprised. So let's, let's get on to the things that he got me. First off, he got me. a Blu-ray <clears throat> of a film that I really do enjoy, and I'm glad to have this on Blu-ray. I was actually thinking about getting this just on DVD, but thanks to him, I got it from him for my birthday on Blu-ray. Grand Piano. Grand Piano, I really, really enjoy this film. Elijah Wood, John Cusack, he does have a little role with Alex Winter. Basically, it's like phone booth at like a, uh, one of those like stage performances of it, like one of those opera-like stages. It's a really interesting film. Elijah Wood, you have John Cusack as the bad guy, and all that stuff. This is a really, really solid flick, so to finally have this in my collection, thank you so much. Let's see here. I'm trying my best not to look. I'm looking up. I don't want to look. Uh, next is... Another film to add to my Bruce Willis collection, the ultimate edition of The Fifth Element. Really, really cool to have this in my collection now. I always enjoy The Fifth Element a lot. It's a really solid flick. So, thanks to him. Another one to my Bruce Willis collection. Actually, let me uh, put put these two, these two right here because I already know what they are. Set them right there. Okay. Let's see, next one is another one to add to my Bruce Willis collection. It's, the, it's, a, it's one of those really nice packaging on here too. 
but I never had those on DVD or Blu-ray before, and I never, I never understood why, but thanks to him, now I do. I, it's the same kind of packaging that came in the Unbreakable DVD, but this is the two-disc of The Sixth Sense. Can't really see that's kind of hard to tell, but, uh... Six cents, two disc edition. Very, very cool. Happy to have that now in my Bruce Willis collection. And like I said, this birthday, the, like, this birthday home might go into a couple parts because this is quite a bit of stuff because I pulled a lot of stuff out with my eyes closed. Okay, so next. It's the Blu-ray steel book of A Quiet Place. That's amazing. Love this movie a lot. Definitely one of my favorite films of the year. It's a really nice looking steel book too. Really nice looking steel book. Uh, next... Next one here is... Next one is another film from this year that I also enjoyed. Traffic. Really enjoyed this film a lot. I'll probably review this at some point down the road and get safe the plot synopsis and also for a review of this one day. But I really did enjoy this one. Got, this, got a chance to see this in theaters before it went out. Really, really solid film. Next one here is <clears throat> all right. One of the most one of the surprising films of this year. I didn't think I was gonna like this movie that much, but heard a lot of good things about it, so I wanted to check it out for myself in theaters, and I had a fun time with this film. Blockers. Really enjoyed this movie a lot. I was really surprised by this film. Mike Barrett holds Leslie Mann. John Cena. And what's funny too is when you, whenever I saw this girl on the front cover right here, she reminds me of Sophia Boutella from the new Mummy movie. I, it, it looks just like her, but it's not her though. I thought it was her for a while, but it wasn't. It, it looks like her though, I'll give you that. But, uh, got me blockers. Very nice. Next one is another film this year that really did surprise me. I didn't really know what to expect going into this movie, but he got me. Unseen. Really enjoyed this film a lot, where a girl thinks she's being stalked by a stalker, but you never know that she's losing her mind, or if it's real, <clears throat> and all that stuff. Really enjoyed this film a lot. And I really do enjoy the other director's work on here as well. Steven Soderbergh, same guy that did uh, Side Effects and things like that. Did this film. Love this movie a lot. Really do enjoy this film. So I'm glad to have that now on Blu-ray. I mean, so far, dude. I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff so far. Wow, more. What's this one? Next is... I had this on DVD, <clears throat> signed by Gunnar Hansen. And I never, I never had any, I never had any of these films on Blu-ray. But thanks to him, I have the first film now on Blu-ray. This is a Blu-ray steelbook. Film. It's the 40th anniversary edition of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Really nice looking steelbook. Love that cover. Love the back of it. And I love that disc art right there as well with other face on it. Yeah, but this is a Dark Sky Films release Blu-ray steelbook. Very nice. Okay. Wow. More. Next. 
The film that I had never gotten yet before on Blu-ray, I was meaning to get it for a while, but now thanks to him I have, I now own it. Black Panther. Really enjoyed this film a lot. This, is a, this was definitely a really big surprise hit for, for this year. Made over a billion dollars, I think. Which I don't think anybody expected this film to hit over a billion dollars. But it's a really good movie, though. It's really one of my personal favorite recent Marvel films. Love the MCU films. Really do enjoy this film a lot. Chadwick Boseman, Michael B. Jordan, Daniel Kaluuya from from uh, Chris from Get Out is one of the stars of the film as well. Andy Serkis is also in this film as well. And I believe this is directed by the same guy that did Fruitvale Station and Creed. Yeah, Ryan Coogler. Same guy that did Fruitvale Station and Creed. And I think he's doing Creed 2 as well later this year. Really, really enjoyed this film. I think I'm going to show one more here that I'll cut off for part two. Next. One of my personal favorite David Fincher films. Never had this film before on DVD or Blu-ray, and I know the, the Blu-ray steelbook of this came out, and he got me the Blu-ray steelbook of it. It's a really cool looking cool looking steelbook. It's the Blu-ray steelbook of the game. I mean, that's just sick. Love that cover, and I love the back. One of, the, one of the more underrated David Fincher films. Really love the game. David Fincher is probably my all-time favorite director. I really do enjoy the game. Okay, I think I'm going to end it right here on for part one, and I will see you guys in part two. Wow, there's a lot of stuff.